Welcome back, everypony. Are you ready for some extreme sports? Really? Because you're not going to get him. He's going to get a table with that name. Which isn't very impressive. Also, it turns out that you can buy basically Chewits, but Vimto flavored instead. And they taste nice. Anyway, extreme sports. We've got a guy jumping off a cliff, apparently. And a skull in the top right corner. Okay. This is actually a game that was on the Amiga, so... Well, a table that was on the Amiga, so... Oh yeah, right, that's how you control, I forgot. Okay, so... Now that I remember how to control the game after only not playing it for a couple of seconds... We can maybe go. Nope, we can't go. Can I please at least do some... No, nope, I can't do anything on this table, apparently. I think I remember why I didn't like this game, even on the original release. Right, hey, we finally did something. Great. What? No. It seems I'm really bad at this table. I just never bothered with this game, the Pinball Fantasies one. It just wasn't good. I mean, you had choices of stuff like Slam Tilt, which I've already mentioned, which has got to be the best pinball game ever made. So, but why would you play anything else? Slam Tilt was a very good game, and I can't recommend it enough. Well, unless you find a PlayStation version of it. And then I'd really not recommend it. What? Uh, are you man enough for Iron Man? What? What are we doing? Whoa, okay, I got a multi ball apparently. When did I get that? Seriously, I didn't, like, bank any balls or anything, I somehow got a multi ball. Okay, that. It's even even though I know there's only two buttons, it's surprisingly hard to get this. I mean, why would you press right and square to activate both? It makes no sense. Right, no, yeah, right equals left flipper. I'm having to constantly remind myself about why is I screw up? Great, I stage complete. You died. I don't even know what I could have done to save myself, and it just went straight into the floor. This is a really badly designed table, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure that, even for me, this is really bad. Okay, we start off one go. Let's make it count. Um, yeah. Right trigger equals left flipper, right. Four more for speed! Can you get out of those bumpers, please? Thank you. Hey, I did something. Tunnel combo. Why Why is going through a tunnel an extreme sport, exactly? Unless you're trying to like race against a train that's coming into you or something like that, I don't know. That would make it kind of extreme. Will we spell extreme before we die? We'll probably find out in about 10 seconds when I die. Hey, right. Nope, I didn't get all of extreme. Um, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do to get any good scores on this board. I really never played it. It was just really not a fun game. I know there's a flip room, it's like two ramps, but I... I died. Wow, I haven't even played it for four minutes, I'm already game over. This is a really bad table. I'm blaming the table. What do you mean I got lucky this time? Or did you say I'm not lucky this time? Also, why exactly do they have tilt in anyway? I don't, I don't understand why they keep having tilt in these games. We can go. Let's go. We can. No, it's it's square to activate the right flipper, not right. Ah. Oh. It's just counterintuitive. Why would you make it like that? Why would you make right do the left flipper? Air combo. Okay, I think that's why this, why going through tunnels is an extreme sport. Is how could I have saved that? That was absolutely impossible to save. It just went right through the middle. It didn't even get close to either flipper. This table is really bad. Let's just go. 
Seriously, this is like worse than the Microsoft pinball game thing that came with Windows XP. And that was terrible. At least that didn't throw you through the middle of absolutely no circles. But yes, going through tunnels while in air is apparently an extreme spot. I've actually, I think it's more of an extreme engineering. I think I might have been able to save that. I think it hit the left flipper. But then again, since pressing right is the left flipper, it's hard to save anything. Let's go. It's, I can't get anything up there. I just keep pressing it the wrong, at the wrong time. It really does seem to be badly designed, this table. I have had a lot of upbringing with pinball because, you know, I had an Amiga that had Slam Tilt on it. Again, I can't recommend that game enough. But this, this is just terrible. I can't even get enough speed to go up a ramp. It keeps failing to go up ramps. And I died. Okay, I'm not doing this table anymore. This is a rubbish table. You can't go ramps and you keep falling down the middle for absolutely no reason. Yes, really quit. So you have to press either the right or square and then press start to quit a table after already pressing select. Ugh. Oh, how could you make the game design so terrible? Anyway, let's go do a new table. Babe Watch. Let's do it. It's based off that old TV show, I suppose, which I've never watched. But it apparently had that hunk guy in it. What was his name again? I forgot. Anyway, this table has some dude at the bottom with loads of girls. And up there, there's randomly some woman who's apparently taken off her bra and is standing in the middle of the street at night. That can't be good for you. Anyway, let's go. Oh, there's a casino at the top. Let's do it. Well, the music in this sucks. Yep, the music in this really sucks. Oh, okay, there's actually music. Nope, it's just loads and loads of car horns. Yeah, I don't even manage to get a... Oh, really? You've got to hit that? Why would you put a flipper up there? It's barely visible. Also, I died. It's okay though, because this table has fan service. Nope, I didn't mean pause, I meant shoot. Right, so, so you've got to make sure that when it gets up there, into that casino, you can actually see the flipper and then be able to see when you're supposed to hit it. Why would you put so much stuff in the way of that flipper? It's so barely visible. Can I please do something rather than just hit stuff? I would go in the casino if you ever let me. Can you stop hitting things and just go up? Okay, I didn't go in the casino, did it? Right. Hey! What did I do? I died, that's what I did. Okay, I think I remember why I didn't like pinball fantasies. I think this is pinball fantasies anyway. Wait, no, except for the Viking table. Right, can you... Ugh. Alright, let's try the right flip no, the left flipper using the right... Ugh. Left flipper, right directional button. No, ah, How are you supposed to get that? The only way to get that is with practice. To remember what actually makes you go up there so you know what to look at. Hey, we actually got around the ramp. Um, apparently that failed. Hey, I got a car. Three more to race. I'm pretty sure I'll die before I get them. Yep, I died before I got them. It would seem like I'm really, really bad at this game. I think that was actually the clown level music that was about to play then. Sounded like it. Hey, we got a car again. How did that even happen? I 
I didn't even hit anything and it somehow bounced in the middle of the air then. I mean, it completely dodged the ramp thing. I mean, the bumper. It just went over the bumper and then it suddenly bounced halfway across the screen. Nope, and I failed that again. Really, that, that is just so barely visible. And by the time you actually notice it's going up there, it's already gone past it. It's like a reflex test or something. Well, I suppose that's what pinball is, but you know, whatever. It's fun how every other pinball game I've ever played, I can at least go for like 20, 30 minutes or something, because it doesn't screw you up and have you go into completely unsurvivable places every second. But this one, it loves doing it. Stop hitting things! I just want to go around a ramp and I failed to shoot the casino in order to actually hit the flipper. That is so badly designed. Oh, now what? Because you have to get it... You have to like happen to get it absolutely perfect so that it does anything. Usually even if you fail it a little bit, you can... I missed it completely. You can at least still get like the minor bonusy thing from... I couldn't do anything! I went right through the middle. This table is really badly designed. I mean, it just is. There's so many places that just throw you back down, right through the middle, f next to neither flipper. You don't make tables like that. Also, this music is really bad. It's just the sound of cars. And I died. I must be breaking records for the amount of quickness with these deaths. I got myself a high score because nobody else has played this game. Ah oh, well, we have time. Let's try another try. This is so hard. It's just... It's not hard because of the difficulty. It's hard because of how many times that happens. Oh, and I missed it again. That is such a bad thing at the top. And by the time you notice you're going even close to the casino, you've already passed it. You're not supposed to... Okay, I could have actually saved myself from that, I think. I accept defeat on that one. That wasn't the game, that was me. Then again, it was the game because it's still badly designed as hell. Then again, how is probably well designed. For its purposes, anyway. Right, left to go... No, right to go left. Nope, I missed it again. Brilliant. This table is just so bad. Well, this entire game is bad. Actually, surprisingly enough, I think the Viking level was actually the best designed one so far. Either that or it's the only one for the PlayStation that was actually designed properly, because these ones were just stolen straight from the Amiga, of course. So, you know, it's not exactly made for the PlayStation, is it? What? No, no. I wanted to press left, but for some reason I pressed square because I was thinking that right would activate the right flipper. But no, right activates the left flipper. Why do you make that? Why isn't it just the trigger buttons? And why do I, if I press the trigger, you then tilt like that and then not allow me to do anything? How counter... Ah. Oh. Okay. When we come back, we're going to do the final table. I'm going to be so annoyed on that, and then I'll just call it... Babe Watch. I forgot what that guy was called. I'm not really interested because I never watched it. But do you know the guy I'm talking about? It's the guy who was on um, Knight Rider and all that stuff. He was a guy... No, I don't want to start again. No, how do you... Wait, I, I already pressed select. No, then it's yes, okay. That's how you quit. <sighs> this is hard. It's just the design that makes it hard.